Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. We're gonna do a product review on this Jewel uh, cooking system they have here. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Glad y'all stuck around. This Jewel cooking system is uh, pretty cool. So if you don't want to watch the whole review on this, which isn't that long, uh, this thing is uh, pretty cool and okay for camping if you have somewhere to plug in. Other than that, uh, it's a nice little product. So hey, a quick disclaimer, uh, this product was sent to me. I didn't have to pay for it. Uh, and they did not pay me to review this. You're going to get my best honest review on this. Let's get into the review now. three modes on here. One is the drink mode. So it'll boil water and then it'll automatically cut off. The eat mode will go to a boiling point and then it just continues. And then the pop mode is the correct temperature to pop popcorn. <laughs> yeah, you pop popcorn in this. Don't know if I'm going to do that or not. So let's go do a couple of things with this to see what we come up with. Uh, there is one thing it says on the warning that the contents in here will be hot. <laughs> if it's gonna boil water, I imagine it would. So be careful what you touch. They do have this nice foam thing and a handle on it. It's kind of like a uh, jet boil, but not. <laughs> Uh, that you can hold this and then it's got some kind of a ring here and I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, you got your plug. The uh, lid is a real nice lid because it's got a strainer on it and a pour hole here and a steam hole at the top. Don't know why they need that steam hole but it's got all of those other holes. So we'll get hot there's foam around it, and I don't imagine this bottom part getting too hot, so. This has marks in here for uh, millimeters and ounces. Uh, the cord comes with this nice Velcro. Remove that, the cover over, and then you just plug that in. And then you plug it into the wall or your uh, solar generators or your battery packs that have converters that you can put this in here. What I'm gonna do now is put a cup of water in here and then let it run until it boils and see if it automatically cuts off. And this will be on the drink mode. Yeah, uh, 
the button on this thing is pretty sensitive. Just barely touch it and it comes on. All right, we're letting it run. And we're gonna see if it, uh, how long it's gonna take to boil. Well, I hear it's boiling and I see the steam coming up. Now we'll just wait to see when it cuts off automatically. There it goes. There we go. That took about a minute and a half. I like that. <laughs> yep, water is boiling. So now I could put my noodles in here and let it sit. And you can cook soups and other stuff that uh, goes on in here. I'm pretty impressed with that. Impressed with this product. Works pretty good. Took a minute and a half to do a cup. So I figured it'd take a little bit more if you're doing two cups. Uh, I wouldn't put more than that in there for boiling water because then it would want to boil out and then you get burnt and all that other stuff. Yeah. And you don't want that to happen. Steam. Two things about this product I wished it had. I wished it had its own built-in battery so you could just charge it up and then use it. It would be a real camping uh, cooking system here. What was my second deal? <laughs> yeah, the second thing is, is if you are going to use this for camping, you're going to have to have some kind of uh, outlet or electricity. One of those jackeries or, you know, um, solar generators. That's it. Uh, with a uh, built-in converter to plug the uh, 110 volt in so it will uh, operate. Uh, as of popcorn, I will probably never use it for popcorn, but I would use it for cooking other stuff. Uh, there will be a link down below and you can grab one of these if you want to. Catch you on the road here with the Jewel cooking system. I'm not 100% how that's pronounced. Joel? 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 Might be. <laughs> yep, it bowls water. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs>